Wheels are back on Broadway in the latest revival of Tennessee Williams' classic drama, The Glass Menagerie. We're here at the Booth Theater to celebrate opening night for one of the hottest Broadway tickets in town. What brings you guys out to opening night for The Glass Menagerie on Broadway? Um, it's w one of my favorite plays, and uh, we love everybody in the cast. Yeah, I'll say the cast. Yeah. But yeah, you say the cast, and I'll say, I'll the, say, cast. You say the play. Yeah. In general. I've never seen this play. I've only uh, re I read it in college, um, but I've never seen a production, and I hear it's just stellar. I heard amazing things from out of town, so I can't wait to see it. I wouldn't miss it. It's one of the greatest plays of all time, and it's got all my favorite actors in it. <laughs> I would never miss Cherry Jones, and Celia is a great friend, and I'm so excited to see this show. What does John Tiffany bring to the director position that is so unique? Kindness and humor, and uh, I just have never trusted someone so much the way I trust him. Uh, and he's just, a, he's just a visionary. Does Celia continue to surprise you with everything she does? She's gotten to play so many crazy roles. I've, I think this one is one that is totally a career highlight. The second she like limps onto that stage tonight, I am pretty much assuming I'm going to be balling for two straight hours. How long have, have you been dreaming of your Broadway debut? It was the first thing I ever dreamed of when I became a, a, a little mini kid performer, I think. It's an incredible feeling to not only be making my Broadway debut, but be making it in the glass menagerie with Cherry Jones, directed by John Tiffany, starring Celia Keenan Bolger and Brian J. Smith. I mean, I don't want to ever forget how happy I am tonight. And when that monitor goes on like a minute before when you're at places and you can sort of hear the buzz, I was like, oh my god. We were like in a blizzard in Boston, and now we're here on Broadway, and it's opening night. That was, we, I said that out loud, where I was like, I can't believe we made it. It's a gift for us to be able to do it for, for a house of people that it's, it's that supportive and responsive and, and um, such a great cheerleader for, for the show. It's, it's incredible. A lot of people have said that this production is like seeing The Glass Menagerie for the first time. What is it about this production? What elements do you think make that so? I just think John Tiffany, our esteemed director, just understood what Tennessee was trying to do with this play artistically. John freed us of all the burdens of what was more literal. And what remains is just this intense, deep, emotional uh, reality. We approached it like it was a new play. We didn't want to be precious about it. We really wanted to be vigorous in how we how we approached it and how we approached the characters. We got to make a script out of the three versions that exist and the Williams estate allowed us to go through line by line and pick which lines we wanted to say and so it was like building a new piece of work. Why was this the show, the right show to make your Broadway debut in? Well, I didn't know I'd be making my Broadway debut with this show because we first did it at the ART and it was only because of the way the production was received up there that we transferred here. So I think that's why it's right because it wasn't about trying to make it so, it was about allowing it to be. What makes Amanda Wingfield one of the greatest stage roles in the theater period? Her mind is so quick. She is she never stops thinking. I don't even know when to breathe sometimes as Amanda. She is quicksilver. She's all over the place emotionally. She's loving. She's temperamental. So for an actress, it's just heaven to be able to have to turn on a dime, turn on a dime. So it's like being on a jungle gym, the best kind of jungle gym in the world if you're an actor.